Hey, Debstep, how you doing tonight? You go this way? No. Are you my next patient? What to do? It's kind of well, weird whenever she meets an enemy that she says, are you my next patient? Like she's going to murder her patients. It's a little weird. What to do? Forgive me. All of a sudden, this whole thing about the apothecaries of ire murdering people is a little stranger. Yeah. Oh my God, the bits. No plans for EU Paris this year, only Vegas? Yes, I am going, I'm going to TwitchCon Vegas this year. But unfortunately, I don't have plans for EU Paris. Yeah. Not right now. It could change, but not right now. I beat Wo Long? No, we're playing more tomorrow morning. Chris says he doesn't like us EU folks as much. Hey, I'm completely changing my merch store around so it's more friendly to EU people. Don't you say that. Mm -mm. Oh. Life is too precious to risk. I wonder if Co pre-ordered Diablo 4? Uh, I haven't yet, no. Not yet. Might, no I know no cure for evil. Oh, Scalo, no, I haven't. Relair says, after you changed it to be not friendly first. Hey, to be to be fair, Relair, my last store, I was told that it had favorable EU shipping prices. And then everything went through, and then everything happened, you are and poison. I learned that the now. prices were not that very EU friendly. And I got very angry and I said, is there anything we can do? And if you remember, that's when they slashed the prices on the back end. And after about, what, three or four months of that, I said, nope, I'm finding a new store. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, I am not immune to um, that kind of shit happening. Well, now. We're doing our best, y'all. We're doing our best. Here I go. What to do? Forgive me. Is Ko okay? Uh, no, I am freaking out right now. Um, because my drink is empty. Spoon just said, Ko, a wise man once said, you suck. Oh, you're talking about the prophet Bruce. Oh man, I haven't heard from him for a while. Um, I yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And 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 as as Bruce once said, um, you suck. Um, pussy, pussy. I believe was the exact quote. And uh, I know. I agree. I agree. I I've been thinking about that for a long time now. And um, I feel like there's subtext in there that we, if we really kind of focus on that, extrapolate the meaning, it'd give us some very important things to live by. Absolutely. Uh, one second. Here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, also go FF and um, have you played Albion online? Pretty sure these are just direct from scripture quotes. Yep. Mm -hmm. every, time I, every time I see one of these vendors, you, you know that meme where the meme is Simpsons did it? Every time I see one of these vendors, I think, 
Chain Decos did it better. Every time. Like, with these guys, they don't even try. They just put a random vendor that makes zero sense in these random ass locations. But it's like, dude, at least Chained Echoes made it funny. I know, Chained Echoes spoiled us, man. They really did. They spoiled us. Damn it, Chained Echoes. Stop it. Stop being so good. Jerks. Are you my next patient? Hey, Cronus, thank you for the five bomb. I appreciate it. My turn. It is going to be so hard to play this class. I, I, I'm like avoiding that my item use menu like the plague. I love the pocket boat. I know, I do too. I just randomly like, oh, look, let me just pull a boat out of my wreck boat. Like, how does that even work? My lord. Okay. You know they don't keep it in their backpack, Nuriel. What is this foul smell? Oh, chat, did you have Taco Bell last night? Oh. It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all illness. Now then, what is it that's made all this mess? Foul vapors abound. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. <sighs> I think I found the source. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all who drink it. I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. I'm sorry, do you speak monster? Like, why are you conversing like this is normal? It was worth a shot. Time to clean up this mess. Wipe down. Here I oh, go. Christ, man. Ah! Nope. Curses. What to do? What? Yeah. There we go. My turn. I am unwell. Hold it. At this rate. Medicine. 
We gotta cure that poison. How deplorable. It just cannibalized uh -oh. its own kind. Anonymous, can you tell me if this one has party members really acknowledging each other? Um, here's what I can say so far, Anonymous. There has been zero times at any point that the characters have acknowledged each other so far. But I do know that apparently at the end of this game, all the storylines come together, at least in a slight capacity. There's that. Thank you for tipping the mod team. I appreciate it. What a noisome odor. The cannibalizing its own empower it somehow? The chat is saying they talk to each other in battle. Nibbo says they do kind of acknowledge each other. Gin says it does during battle with psych quips and have optional quests together. There are multi-character quests, says one arm gambit. Okay. How troublesome. I'll need to handle this quickly. What to do? What to do? Let's see. My turn. Do I have a poison fix? Yeah. A pinch of this. Uh -oh. Here I go. Oh, here we go. I extend a helping hand. I'll purge this infection. Time for your medicine. What to do? What to do? Here I go. Well. Here I go. My turn. I am unwell. Hold it together. Pinch of this uh, well. There is an entire other menu of concoctions available for boom. What? Oh, when I do the boon. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll take a look at that. Thank you. My turn. Here. Have a talent for making do. Ooh. Naughty deeds are my bitter medicine. Here I go. Well now, here I go. Well now, my turn. No mercy. Is there some well way I can do big damage that I'm missing? This will teach you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Forgive me. Boost hazard concoction. Oh, Don't think okay. badly of me. That takes care of the root of this illness. Boosting max hazard concoction is a weakness. All that's left is to sprinkle oh, okay. pure bomb leaves around. There's some offensive concoctions Literally. that have boost to damage combos. Oh. Okay. With time, the corruption here should fade. 
There. A dash or two of pure bomb for myself, too. I won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Now, back to town to relay the good news. the source of the infection polluting your waters. The spring will run clean again in time. Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all your water for a good while yet. Thank you! Thank you! You're Senna's brother, yes? How is he? Back on his feet, and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? You're the best apothecary, 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 apothecary. For anyone still playing along at home. <laughs> Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. Although, I do have one request. Anything. Just name it, Casty. May I borrow your bath? I'm a dirty, dirty girl. Yeah. I'm glad our paths crossed, Casty. But it's time for me to move on. The open road is gone. You didn't do anything! Malaya, may I ask what it is that compels you to travel? I'm searching for a way to cure a terrible disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Is there anything I can do to assist you? <laughs> no, this is my problem, my burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. Your memory, for one. I need to know who their apothecaries are. And who I am as well. I can't rest until I know. Malaya, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to know something about them. <laughs> Please, Malaya, I need to know. Tell me, I'm begging you. <sighs> he seems to know of heirs apothecaries, but will say nothing about them. You have the power to save lives more than oh. any other. That's why you have to live. Oh shit, it was her at the beginning. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Okay, that's actually a pretty great story twist. That was that was pretty good. That was actually pretty good.
Live, Casty. There's someone you have to save. It can't be. I pray your memory returns, Casty. One day. Farewell. Wait. That woman in my vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What's going on? Malaya... What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... <clears throat> Malaya... Okay, real talk? All five... Malaya. Of the stories I played so far in this one are better than any of the ones I played in the original Octopath Traveler one. But why? These are all more interesting. Who or what were we running from? I've kind of been waiting for a bad one, but they've all been okay. I need more clues. Something else to go on. I remember specifically in Octopath Traveler 1. A hidden pocket in the bottom of my satchel? Hold on. A book. Treatment log. In my hands, I held a diary. One I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patient seen. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Psy and Winter Bloom. More notable by far. It's covered with blood. Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. Oh. What in the world is the story here? time I went on my own journey. This journal is the only clue I have. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else. Something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. So in the first Octopath, I loved the gameplay, but the thing that, that really killed it for me and why I stopped playing at the end of the day is there were entire characters that I wasn't interested in. Their stories weren't very interesting. I didn't really care where they were going. Like I felt like they were just too, they were either too tropey or too lack of a better word boring to to really care where they were going i wasn't interested and the problem is that i got to a point in octopath any ache pain or ill i'll patch you right up i got to a point in I'm octopath sure where i realized that like my all of my gameplay was either dreading getting to those points or going through those points and that sucked and that's why i put it down i got to a point where i was just like i'm i'm not like, there's too much stuff in this I'm not interested in. I don't care. However, that being said, and this is going to sound a little bit bleak, I have been waiting to get to this point in this game, and I have been doing story after story, going, thinking to myself, am I interested in this? Is this going to be one of those stories? And now we're up to the fifth character, and so far... All of the characters, I am looking forward to playing their chapter two. 
which is not the same case I had in Octopath 1. That's good. Um, that I, I can I can definitely say that the game seems to have um, at least leveled up a bit in terms of its first story stuff. Um, there, I, I've not yet met a character where I felt like it's a slog. And in Octopath Traveler 1, I had multiple characters where I felt like, ugh, this is kind of a slog. Like, I'm not, I'm not super enjoying this. I just want to get through this to get to the characters I'm interested in. I haven't yet hit that point yet. So that's good. You yeah. choose the road for now, and I'll follow. 